big traffic tie-ups this morning on the H1 freeway as the zipper lane, zipper lane stayed shut. Traffic was backed up to Cunia Drive, sending many folks to work late. Talk about traffic headaches. Here's eastbound traffic on the H1 at 9 a.m. still backed up, all because the zipper lane didn't open today. The problem was this zip mobile. At about 2.30 this morning, it had just started moving the zipper lane when the brakes locked up. The second zip mobile has been out of service since December 30th. So they tried for several hours to fix it. They actually had to take the drive shaft off to move the zip mobile. They were able to bring it back in here. So unfortunately, we weren't able to open the zipper lane this morning. They were able to take some parts off of the, the second zip mobile and put it onto the first zip mobile. So we will be able to deploy it on Tuesday. And After six hours of work, as you can see, the zip mobile is up and running. It'll be ready for Tuesday's traffic. A sigh of relief for the drivers of the estimated 4,000 vehicles that use the zipper lane each day. It shows like how important the zipper lane is. Obviously, everyone saw the traffic this morning, and the need for that is really great. Parts are on their way for the second zip mobile. It should be running by the end of the month. Usually, the zip mobiles are switched off to avoid wear and tear. Now, the zipper lanes and the zip mobiles are operated by safety systems that's under contract to the state, and safety systems must pay the state $6,500 a day when the zipper lane and the zip mobiles are inoperable. I don't know if that comforts anyone who is sitting in traffic this morning. But I morning. think they'll get it fixed. That's why they got it fixed. And the good news yeah. is that at least Monday is a holiday, so maybe mm -hmm. we'll Tuesday it'll be all, should be all well <laughs> and done. We'll see.